Welcome back to the Now Morning Show. Tobago Thursdays continue and it's time to talk about the Maranatha Christian Assembly Youth Week. Joining us this morning is Reverend David Guevara, pastor of the Maranatha Christian Assembly and youth committee member Rene Henry. Good morning to both of you and welcome to Now. Hi, good, good morning. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to have you both with us on the show this morning. Thank you so much for rising so early to talk about the Maranatha Christian Assembly Youth Week, which we know is definitely going to be unforgettable. So let's talk a little bit about Youth Week for a moment. What is the goal for this Youth Week? The intention... So, go, go ahead, Renny. Sorry, so Youth Week... It consists of several events, and these events are focused on empowering and guiding young persons, not only within the Maranatha Church, but young persons in the surrounding communities. The main purpose of, out of Youth Week is outreach. So we are trying to communicate and get in contact with as many young persons as possible, you know, just to get them involved in the things of God and overall to just make a positive impact on them and to give them a positive positive experience filled with learning and fellowship. And, and if I may add, in addition to the things about God, even as she mentioned those, the idea is to, to position them for holistic development, for them to be able to, to receive the kind of guidance from the varying sectors that are available. Taking a look at what we just saw on screen is definitely going to be a jam-packed week. But Reverend Guevara, let's talk about the role of the church in society. What does that mean to you and how do you effectively get that out to the public? Well, um, the, the role of the church in society is a, is, a, is a broad subject. What I can tell you is that what we intend to do by having the Youth Week is be, participate, be participatory in our attempt to reach the youth of our society. You know, there, there's an absolute need. There's a breakdown in the family. There's a breakdown in, in so many sectors. And here we have a whole generation of folk that need direction. What we want to be able to do through the mediums, we're having the, the youth career fair. That's going to expose them to, you know, the, the opportunities that they have. And as Renee mentioned, we, in, we, we look at ourselves as a hub with the surrounding communities around us. And um, through those mediums, we're going to expose them, not just to the direction that will come from the Word of God, but in terms of defining the purpose for their lives. And that, that, that is absolutely what we're about. That is absolutely fantastic. Rene, how do you feel about the role of the church when it comes to youth in particular? So I feel as though Maranatha, it has been a positive asset to the community. We have been offering, you know, guidance spiritually and through events like the Youth Week, we offer educational resources where we can offer support to, you know, all members of the community of all ages and, you know, just to foster positive development and make a positive impact in the community. Well, we can see the positive impact definitely coming through on your screen. You're seeing the chart for your future career fair 2023, which is also going to be a part of this incredible week taking place. So let's talk a little bit about this career fair. What can people expect when they attend, Reverend? We have reached out to professionals in the areas, um, midwifery, nursing, you know, aviation. We, uh, we reached out engineering the, you know, medicine, you know, agriculture. We've got professionals from over 30, what I refer to as sectors, 30 areas where these folk, and we've asked them to come in, they've signed, they've committed to coming in over these two days, and they're going to have booths, and the folk from the community, the young people are going to be able to come in and have direct conversations with the people involved in these areas. So it's not just a group of, effect, yeah, a group of church people that come together to talk about God, we, which is which is what we do on another time. Here, it's about us being able to expose them to the resources that are available in Tobago, in the society, and the professionals who can give them direction. Something that is critical for development, of course. Now, Rene, if we're not mistaken, this is not the first time that this has taken place. What was the feedback like for last year's events? So for last year, I have attended last year's events, and 
it we just got positive feedback all around you know young persons may have came in and they weren't as certain of what career field they would like to go in and you know they came in and they saw what was available and they were able to get the direction as pastor said and the professionals there they are so welcoming and they would give you the necessary information on how you are to get from where you are now as a young person to that particular career goal that you would like to achieve so it was just a positive experience and i'm really excited for the upcoming one oh, allow right. me to add it was so positive that's why this year it wouldn't be just one day but it will be two days yes Absolutely amazing. Now, Reverend, just to come back to the conversation, now we're talking about the Christian Assembly Youth Week, but it seems as though there's a lot of community involvement as well at your assembly. Are there other events that we could possibly look forward to in the future? In the future beyond this Youth Week for the community? Yeah, the week. Well, certainly, what, what, that, to be clear, that's what you're talking about, beyond the Youth Week, yes? Yes. Yeah, well, certainly what, what we try to do is not show up just on, on the sidewalk to preach about Jesus. We do that. We do that every month. But we also have what we refer to as walkabouts or community connect, where we try to encourage the members to come out. We are in on one junction and, you know, there'll be Bethel, there'll be Riseland, there'll be Susalans, there'll be Bethany, there'll be Mount Pleasant, there'll be Buku come right back to Mount Irvin and then we're in the middle. And what we try to do is to encourage our members to be part. So the second Sunday of every month, we go into the community. We have walk about, talk about. We're looking also to that. So that's monthly, right? And we're also looking to have um, later down in the year a family week and a health fair. All right, the family week should be in, in November thereabout, and the health fair should be late October or in. We, we just need to come confirmation of some of the professionals that will be because with the health fair obviously we'll need medical doctors and nurses absolutely wonderful that you're taking such a holistic approach as you would have mentioned to society and before we close we'd just like to touch very briefly ready for a quick moment do you have any words of wisdom for the younger generation who perhaps are considering coming to the assembly youth week yes i would like to say um it's a fun event that you can come to Although there may be, you know, we are in a world full of a lot of distractions, I want to encourage all young persons to, you know, stay grounded in Christ. And if you feel like you are not at that point in your relationship, it's never too late to start, you know, just come out and be willing to accept what the Lord has to offer. Um, I know that you don't have to, for the career fair, as I said, you don't have to have everything figured out. You can come and see what we have to offer and you're not going to regret it. I'm excited and I hope that you all look forward to it and come out and let's have fun together. Wonderful. Thank you so much for that, Rene. And Pastor, thank you so much as well for joining us this morning. Looking forward to seeing many more great things that come from the Maranatha Christian Assembly. Have a great day. Thank you very much. Nice being here. Thank you. There's more coming up on the Now Morning Show. It's time for your birthdays after this very short break.